Easy, mm -hmm. and then you see these boys out of Cleveland, yeah. uh, and they with this long hair. Yeah. Standing on the corner, straight slanging rocks, oh, hey, looking yeah. crazy. They, looking they, we different. looked the same, though. Y'all did look the same. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, so man, I got a deal where Lazy Bone said he coming on. Boss Talk in Dallas, he could be there in March. Okay. So I'm excited about that. I think they got a show or something. Yeah, I'm there. excited about that. Yeah. He said, man, he coming because he followed me and everything. And, you know, court, of course, and yeah, yeah. all the connections, man. Yeah, it's like, sure. so how was it when you guys, when you when you was dealing with Easy, mm -hmm. and then you see these boys out of Cleveland, yeah. uh, and they with this long hair. Yeah. Standing on the corner, straight slang and rock. Looking yeah. crazy. They, looking they, we different. looked at the same, though. Y'all did look the same. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, kinda, yeah. They, they, they reminded me of myself. They so. were, yeah, their hair was way out. All you yeah. niggas was like that. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why Easy picked you. Probably so. <laughs> That's probably a good thing, yeah. Yeah, so. But we was doing a show there. Um, we was doing a show at this uh, the stadium or whatnot. And um, once we coming off the stage, it was uh, Busy Bone, Lazy Bone, and Flesh and Bone standing on the side. Like, can we come back there and rap for y'all? Oh, so you talking about the first time. The first, very first time. Wow, I didn't know you were with him the yeah, first time. Yeah, Let's absolutely. talk. So, so what happened? So we coming off the stage after performing, and these three bright-eyed kids, you know, standing on the side. Can we come back there and rap for y'all? I'm like, yeah, come on. So we get them back there. It was a bunch of, you know, local people back there trying to rap and sing and stuff like that. And when them dudes started rapping, boy, I was like, I was mesmerized. I was like, yo, because they was harmonizing together, singing, rapping fast. And it was dope because they did it like how they sound on record. It sounded like, good. It sounded so good. So when they finished, I told Easy, I asked them, I was like, do y'all work? Y'all go to school? They was like, no. I said, man, I'll tell him Easy, take him with us now. Now, you know he didn't need to go with us. And you know, he didn't go for it, but he gave him like three different phone numbers or whatever. And when they got, we got back to LA, they calling and calling. They can't contact him, and uh, they took like a, a one one way flight and just came down there and just kind of stayed around L.A. until wow. they kept calling. Up, they kept calling up there, and one day he happened to answer the phone, and he was trying to remind. They was trying to remind him of who they were. And he told him to rap. He was like, "Rap for me," and they started spitting. And he went and found them and picked them up, and that's how pretty much how it happened. Wow. Yeah. Man, so how was the process of that uh, For the Love of Money from your recollection? Mm, I wasn't in the studio when they made that. You wasn't? No, what did you think when you heard it? Oh, it was dope. Shit. Still to this day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dope. Something. What about the first of the month? All of it, man. Come on. All man. of it. All that, man. That was crazy, Come man. On, it man. was different. It was different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it was like, you know, we had Twister, um, and then we had... What's the dude out of New York? Uh, Jay Z, homeboy, Jazzo. We already heard that type of style of rap yeah, before, yeah, yeah. but they just brought the harmonizing. Harmonized That's part. that was the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that's live. That's dope, bro. Mm -hmm. Like so. Okay, okay. I, I, I know Miss Jamaica tired. I can look at her eyes and tell you she ain't no night rider like us. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I done sure. got my second win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it kick in, I can go another go four ahead, hours. Keep going. Yeah, nah. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you, bro. <laughs> It's up to you. <laughs> I'm not going to do boss, it like man. that. That's crazy. <laughs> but no. no, like like when you think about just all of the talent that you've seen come through mm -hmm. during the time, man, I, I heard, I, I think I was, you said that Snoop Dogg didn't get no respect in, in, in Long Beach. Um, I mean, you know, when I don't you really that, know. What do, you, what do you mean? Like, did they respect him? Did they? I'm, I don't, being real. I'm not from there, bro. I don't really know. I've heard things, but I'm not from there. Snoop is my boy. I don't want to talk down on him. But I mean, I've heard things, you know what I'm saying, through the grapevine and whatnot. Because I'm beyond with, to me, the world of him. Yeah, yeah, for to sure. To the world and embrace, too. Yeah, it's a whole so different level. Need, you don't need, he the, don't hood. need the hood yeah. no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Snoop is one that when I first heard him rap. Oh, when yeah. I, me, too. When I first me heard too. Snoop. Me, too, bro. It was like a I breath of fresh air. I tripped off y'all when y'all went at him. I was like, okay, these niggas, they did So know he they did do? the same thing we did. You got to <laughs> understand. Like, he did. He got with Dr. Dre, right? And Dr. Dre got this feud with Easy. He didn't know Easy. He never met him. He never met him. You see what I'm saying? So he just, that's what people do. You know what I'm saying? If somebody bring you in a circle, naturally, you're going to have a problem with who they got a problem with. You yeah, y'all had, had Lil Easy all in there. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, rest he in out peace. there. Rest in peace. He out there. AJ doing, Johnson. AJ yeah. Johnson was mm -hmm. out there doing the running man and everything with the mm -hmm. sign. I was like, these niggas done flipped it on him, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it was a back and forth. I love that. I, I it was dope, bro. Like, to me, that it should have just stayed that way. You know what I mean? I don't think it, you guys didn't really have no... It's, no. it's things that happen. It's things. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just it. trying to tell you. I'm telling you I don't know nothing yeah. about it. You'd have had to been in the city, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm I'm on the outside looking in. It looked like mm -hmm. it was on whack. Like everybody was cool. But you telling yeah. me behind closed door, you never know. It was some crazy stuff mm -hmm. going on, right? Absolutely. That's crazy, man. Like I said, man, thank you so much, man. Thank um, you for Man, me. anytime, anytime I'm in Vegas or on the West Coast, mm -hmm. I'm looking for you. For sure. Man. I ain't going to lie to you, BG, man. When I come to Texas, I'm Why'd looking you for you. Where'd you get that name, man? BG. That's like a thing around where I'm from. It's it stands for baby gangster. That's ain't that the same thing the other BG? Hills kind of Yeah, yeah. Kinda, but his 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 is something different. Like everybody from my age group where I'm from is a baby gangster. Yeah, but they don't call him BG. They do. They got BG in front of their name too. For real? Yeah, Drayston, my brother. His name BG too. <laughs> we just didn't use it for the music. Purpose, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. But yeah. That's what a knockout for us. Knockout is just, a, just, a, just, a, just fighting knock as a little kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting all you, the niggas in the knock neighborhood. Knockout artists. Mm -hmm. No, but did you, did you used to get knocked out? <laughs> no, hell no. But you knocked a lot of people out. I mean, you know, that's what they say. <laughs> wanna... <laughs> How do you feel being an older man now? It feel great, man. Bro. Like you made it. Yeah, it feel like good. a lot of people. A lot of people didn't you make it. You gotta understand, like me and my boy, who you just met, that just walked in the yeah. room. Like most of our friends from like second grade, I'm talking about it's like 18 people that died before we got to high school. You see school. what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what, so, that's what yeah. why you think I just asked you that? That's like, what I'm trying to how say. How does it feel that's to make it? Like great. you made it, it bro. Like, great, and you ain't the grade now, you know, people be cutting it. I ain't like, ashamed of it. Me neither, nah, man. Because I don't want it, nobody to mistake me for a youngster. <laughs> I really don't. I really, I don't like that that's shit. That's real, man. And the aches and pains. <laughs> No, oh, that, that ain't the good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the aches and pain in the it knee hurt just for no reason me, yeah. and all kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it not good. Yeah, no. but I take it every day. I will too. And, and, and have you have you recited the verse like you the verse like you did on the show today? On anybody's show? Yeah. No, never. I'm bad. The first I'm time. a bad yeah. nigga. Well, I, I already knew that. Me that I already knew it. Did yeah, I? Nah, do I do? That I love dope. the music. That's yeah, why. For sure, that's yeah. the that's the difference. So, I like, think. let me ask you something. What is your history with music? Like, I just love music. You just love it. So that's you it. Never in the industry. Never in the industry. Okay. okay. Just love music. I'm okay, a fan, for sure, for and sure. that's the cold part. Like streets, I can talk about that, but. Fan, just fan, love the music. I wrote hustling with the music. Okay, that, and that yeah, drove yeah. me. That like, go together. That, it go all yeah, the way together. Yeah. <laughs> People don't realize that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like I can sure. remember where I was at. Right, I can remember what I was going through. Right. And these transitions that I was going through, a lot right. of niggas didn't make it through. Absolutely. So I made it through. So the music was like a, it was like a, a ceremony. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's like he took me through the trying Absolutely. time. I and, that, and I appreciate you guys for that. And every time I get an opportunity with Bun, with everybody I sit down with, yeah. I'm like, thank you, man. I appreciate the music. Yeah, sure, and that's what sure. it's all about. Sure, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.